it's two in the morning and um i just thought i'd put something in a video that's been coming to me strongly in prayer because you know i ca i still can't believe what what happened this evening anyway i decided to meet up with somebody for a meal this evening and uh, before i met up with him i got a call from a lady that i, I don't know and uh uh, she said, look, I, we met, uh, you were in Medjugorje when I was in Medjugorje. And um, there's a priest who has a chapel here. Uh, and I thought it was Carrick and Shannon she was talking about. There's a priest who's a chapel and we're having a mass at 8.30 if I'd like to come. And she, and then she, she mentioned the name of a man, the man that I was going to meet for dinner. I said, what are the chances that a random lady rings me up and talks about mass in a chapel? And uh, she's speaking about the guy that I'm going to meet. Anyway, I met up with him. I said, look, this lady has rang us up and she's mentioned your name that she that she knows. And both of us said, well, we better go out to this mass. So I arrived into this chapel. There was every single icon that ever existed of Our Lady in this, uh, this chapel. It was just completely plastered end to end with icons and statues and statues and icons. I mean, th th it was very obvious this was a Catholic chapel. You know, and the priest was very elderly and could hardly walk. And he said the mass extremely reverently. Now, the chapel was so full of icons and statues. But it's strange when you're in that chapel. I was drawn to this massive statue of our Lord's, our Lord with the Sacred Heart. I don't know why it just, I couldn't stop looking at the statue of our Sacred Heart. And to one specific statue of Our Lady. But coming home... I suppose it was up with, there was stuff and coming up in conversation, you know. Sometimes I, I can be very critical of priests and bishops. You know, I love my faith. I love the church. I love the church. Let no one. Un and, you know, there's this, there's this anger sometimes when I see the faith destroyed or people hurt in the church. You know, when, when stuff happens in the church that where we destroy faith in our Lord Jesus Christ because we use and abuse people for our own our own ends or our own for you know it, it happens it happens i suppose you get very angry i can get very angry and you can criticize and judge and so forth and and this evening i needed to take a step back and and just really apologize in the sense you know we we, we have to be agents of change of but of change that is grounded in christ anyway i'm across the ox mountains here turning to balana praying the rosary and Our Lady gave me a specific message that she wants to give to bishops and priests. And she said to me, she said, tell my bishops and my priests to allow me to form them in my womb like I formed my son. I don't know if, how this makes sense uh, spiritually. And I'll leave it to somebody who understands it better. But the message to bishops and priests, allow yourselves to be formed in your mother, in our blessed lady's womb, like she formed her son. She can do that. Her lady said she can do in your life as a bishop or a priest what she did in her son's life. She can, she can form you to be like her son. She, she'll do this. Um, and to know the thing she asked, and several people have asked, it's not, but she asked me again, I was praying the rosary. She asked me to pray for priests and bishops, to pray more. And she showed me, the, this is strange, she showed me the Irish Catholic directory. And she said, I want you to go through this and pray for every priest and bishop in Ireland. And I said, okay, I'll do this. I'll, I'll do this. You know, it's not easy sometimes. We have to be, we have to recognize, uh, you know, being, being a pastor, being a, a priest or a bishop is not easy. And, you know, if we have the time to criticize them, we have to have 10 times or 100 times more time to pray for them. We have to pray for them. We don't know. We don't know what we don't know. Sometimes we just don't know. And, um, you know, I suppose, you know, that message goes out. But I do want to I do want to go back into that specific message because she said, Robert, do a video and ask priests and bishops to go to her. And she will form them like she formed her son. She will do this. And it's something that's been coming to me a lot in prayer. You know, she wants, she's a real mother. Our Lady is a real mother. I saw this in Medjugorje. She's a real mother. She wants to help us. 
she's not some she's not a lady that's so distant that she's outside our reach she's very near to us she's very near to us at mass and she wants to help us she wants to help us and so the prayer that bishops and priests need to make coming up to the 25th allow your mother the blessed mother to form you like she did her son she will do exactly that she will form you like she did her son that's what mothers do she wants to bring all her sons together and to strongly what i'm getting in prayer a lot from different even praying with other people today the unity unity prayer we need to unite you know there has to be unity you know and uh, uh, i uh, so I, I do encourage people to pray. There's a video. I did a video on the Unity Prayer. It's only five minutes. And in the description of that, there is the PDF of that Unity Prayer. So I, I would ask people. But any laity listening to me, you know, I, I, please pray this Christmas for our priests and bishops. We need them. It's, you know, Our Lady is beside them who, who want to... Who, it's beside the Our Lady's beside bishops and priests now because she knows, you know, they gave their lives for Christ, you know, and sometimes they don't make all the decisions right, and sometimes they sin and fall, and we need to pray and even pray harder, you know. Um, you know, they're they're men at the end of the day, and they need our prayers. So I, I just I just want to you know say it as it is. L leave the message there. It is that was a specific message coming from Our Lady in, in prayer. And she said, Robert, do a video and say to my bishops and priests to let me form you like I formed my son in her womb. She wants to she wants to form you in, like she did her son in her womb. And she will. I know this for a fact. She's a loving mother. Anyway, God bless. Take care. And please pray for priests and bishops. P please, 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 please pray for priests and bishops. Please pray the unity prayer. Please. This has come a lot from different sources. It's it's crystal clear to me. That prayer has to be prayed by the whole church. We need to be united, not divided. Christ doesn't want us divided. And not in this time in the church. God bless. Take care. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. Um, before I ask you any questions about what's going on today, I have to caution you, which is just your rights, which is you do not have to say anything. It may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something that you later on in court, anything you do say may be given you. Uh, what, what are you here for today? Uh, physically, I'm just standing here. Okay. Why, why here of all places? I know you, you don't live nearby. But this is an abortion centre. Okay, that's why you're standing here. Is you standing here part of the protest? No, I'm not are you, protesting. Are you, are you praying? I, I might be praying in my head. Um, so I'll, I'll ask you once more, will you voluntarily come with us now to the police station for me to ask you some questions about today and other days where there are allegations that you've broken public spaces protection? Uh, if I've got a choice, then no. Okay, well then you're under arrest, I can't suspicion of failing to comply with the public spaces protection order, which is under the uh, Antisocial Behaviour Crime and Policing Act 2014. Now of course you again, you don't have to say anything, it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, Something which you later on in court, anything you do say may be given. Do you understand the caution? I do, yes. Um, your arrest is necessary in order for the prompt and effective investigation into the offence. What that means is so that I can ask you some questions because you want to come in And also to protect uh, vulnerable people, mainly service users in the clinic. Okay? Um, so you'll come here now to the police station, uh, you get booked in front of a custody sergeant, and then if you want a solicitor, you can have a solicitor on the limit. Okay? Um, I don't tend to handcuff you, but obviously my, my colleague will search you because you're going to get into the police car and make sure you don't have anything that needs to get harm us or you can just do that. Okay.